What up YouTubers and Retro players? Welcome back to Dennis Fleeman's YouTube channel. A couple of weeks ago I made a video about the Mandela Effect in Home Alone that focused on the Nintendo Game Boy. This time I want to focus on the reverse Mandela Effect that I dubbed the DuckTales Remastered Effect. Okay, so hear me out here. If a large group of people remember something a certain way and later it seems to be wrong, changed or gone, that is called the Mandela Effect. You've probably seen it in a Cinemassacre or Angry Video Game Nerd video and it involved the Bernstein games. Now, if the Mandela Effect is real, then the opposite effect or side must also be out there. You have day and night, a Sith Lord and a Jedi, yin and yang. You guys get the picture. The opposite of the Mandela Effect. Hmm. So we're looking for a large group of people that instead of remembering something all seem to have forgotten something that hasn't changed, isn't gone and that's in fact always stayed the same. Finding an example of this reversed Mandela effect was like looking for a needle in a haystack. It was extremely difficult but I think that I found an example. And you guys probably already guessed it because I talked about it and it was in the title. But I found my example in DuckTales Remastered Reviews. DuckTales Remastered came out in 2013 for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 and Wii U. Everybody that reviewed that game, and when I say everybody, I mean everybody that reviewed that game, talked about how great it was to see new episodes of DuckTales and lost footage of the TV show. Here are some examples. Now at first I was excited to be watching what is essentially a bunch of brand new episodes of DuckTales. And then but as I played through I found myself almost getting sucked into a lost episode of DuckTales that I got to play and getting reintroduced to characters that I had totally forgotten about. This was incredibly rad because it feels like you're watching a lost episode of the hit Disney cartoon show. I don't know. This is so weird. This is so bizarre because it is false. It simply is not true. All of the cutscenes in the game are based on the old TV show. There are no new episodes. There is no lost episode. Everything that you see in the game Doctors Remastered is recycled material from the old TV show. The moon, the Himalayas, the African mines, Transylvania, the Amazon. All of these levels in the Nintendo NES game and the Doctors Remastered versions have been based on the cartoon show. What's even more important guys, I get evidence. I got some old VHS tapes that clearly show that the old Nintendo game and the Doctors Remastered game were both based on the TV show. All TV shows, no new TV shows, no lost episodes. Here's the evidence. Pack my park at Duckworth. We're headed for the Himalayas to hunt for the lost clone of Genghis Khan. Shall I forward your call, sir? La Does the Mandela effect exist in video games, movies or in general? Could be possible. Does the reverse Mandela effect exist? Um, I think I'm the first guy to ever bring this up but it seemed logical to me. If something exists then a counterpart must also exist day and night. So maybe I've proven it with this video. Could be. Maybe every reviewer copied each other and that's how it started. Maybe they all seem to have forgotten the TV show, but that seems a little bit strange because I remember some reviews that not only reviewed the video game Doctor's Remastered, but also the TV show. So uh, it's just very weird. Maybe this is an example, maybe it isn't. And hopefully this can bring a discussion about the reverse Mandela effect. Is it real? Does it exist? 